I got to tell you a story. So last week, I'm driving down to Greensboro to work with Jim and Kevin, getting ready for the event. I pull in a gas station, fill up my tank, and a woman comes to me and said, hey, that's a beautiful car. I said, thank you. And I said, I hope you're having a good day. And she said, can I ask you something? What do you do that you drive a car like that? And I said, I'm a professional network marketer. And I have been for over 30 years. She says to me, her name's Vanessa, oh my God, I can't believe this. My friends and I were together the other night looking for ways to make money. And we talked about it, and everybody said, no, don't do it. It's terrible. They're all scams. Nobody makes any money. And she looked at me and says, apparently that was wrong. And I said, yes. And it wasn't that you failed. I said, you probably weren't with the right company or you didn't have the right mentor. And so she said, I'm down on my luck. I lost my job three weeks ago and I'm desperate to find work. And she was putting $5 of gas in her car because that's all she had. So I said, listen, let me do a favor and let me fill up your gas tank for you. So I filled up her gas tank and I said, may you get exactly what you want, a new job. And I gave her my card and I said, once you get working again, I want you to call me and I'm gonna to talk to you about what I do. Because she wanted to come right in and work with me. And I said, no, now's not the right timing for you. You can't afford to be in the business. So now I drive to Greensboro. Kevin, Jim and I, we work till about 6.30. We decide to have dinner. We go to dinner and I pull into the parking lot. Jim's with me, Kevin's there. I get out of my car and this car comes up next to me and says to me, hey, I'm down on my luck. Do you have any extra money? Now this guy followed me into the parking lot. I don't know what it was. So he followed me and I said, and this is what I said, this is not fair that you asked that of me. I said, are you working? He says, well, I don't have a full-time job and I have one part-time job. I said, you're better than that. I said, this is not good. He says, well, I'm so down, I sleep in my car. And he turned his inside lights and he was sleeping in the back seat. He had his bed stuff back there. I said, listen, don't accept this. Don't go to the point where you're asking people for handouts. Find another part-time job, a third part-time job, but don't let yourself be down there. And I'm thinking to myself, what is this? So I gave him $20 to get something to eat. So I'm thinking to myself, these people didn't plan to lose their jobs. These people didn't plan to be somewhat desperate and not have any money. And I was so grateful that I planned. And I'm so grateful that you're planning here so that you won't be in that position should a time comes where your job that was so stable for so many years takes away from you. And I just want you to understand, a lot of people need to hear what we do. And I tell you what, it is not just giving money out. It's basically, number one, letting them know that they're better than where they are right now and they can't give up. And we'll know how to get them there. And that's what I want you to think about. Now, my section today is following up on what Mark started this morning. And I think it's really important for all of us to understand that retailing is an essential part of this business. You have to understand, you don't come in just to recruit. That's the wrong way to do this business. Take it from me. That's how I started and failed because I was smarter than JR. And that was wrong, okay? And it wasn't until he taught me the basic five, and one of the biggest areas after attitude and knowledge and goals is what? Retailing. 
So I want to talk specifically to retailing and how to take a systemized approach to this. Because ladies and gentlemen, if you're not personally producing over 500 business volume a month in selling Mark and America branded products and using them, you're not doing the business. Okay, and everybody in this room has that ability to do this. If you understand that we unfranchise owners are a retail driven company. If we are not selling to end consumers, we aren't doing the business because all you're earning commissions on are personal consumption. And ladies and gentlemen, that won't last. I'm telling you because if the budget has to get cut, it's going right to the auto ship and it's coming out. And what we want to do is make sure that we realize that we have to build 10 to 15 customers, repeat customers, and we have to realize that the more products that you use, the easier it is to sell. When somebody asks me, do you have to sell when you're an unfranchised owner? The answer is yes, but I like to phrase it in offering solutions, that we all own solutions-oriented businesses. Because if you engage in conversation, then you can make offerings of solution and you're not selling. Selling turns people off. However, when choosing the right products, now I'm talking to you from business owner to business owner. I love my Snap. I love my auto car wash, but there isn't enough retail profit or business volume to drive my commissions. I'm just saying, okay? So from a shopping annuity standpoint, I love them and I'll share it to solve a problem, but in business, I'm gonna go after the products that have the best market, that has a demand, so that we can understand who the customer is. And remember, and I don't know if you get this, when Mark talks about billion dollar industries, it's because, don't take this personal, you're not very good at selling. Does everybody get that? So we wanna bring a product that is already in a market so that people have an understanding that this product does this. And now we're gonna show them how this product, Mark and America product, is better value and better uh, results than what you're currently using. It's easier for us to do that. So now, you also have to have profitability. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you know the number, but how much real expense do you have doing this business on a monthly basis? It shouldn't be more than about $200. Does everybody get that? Uh, your business should not be paying for your meals. Your business, even though we put things on our business expense, real hard costs is telephone, tolls, maybe child care if you have to go out. Um, these are things, business cards, you know, these are the things that are real hard costs. And if you don't know that in your business today, you need to stop and take a business check and say, where are the hard costs and what we do? Because if you know your hard costs, you know how much you have to retail and earn in net retail profits to meet your overhead. Just remember, retail profit is for operation and small purchases while our commissions are for wealth and your financial goals. All right, so understand that. You should be something that you enjoy selling and constantly learning and have a reoccurring sales value or scalability, meaning you can build more products to that one product that you're selling. So Mr. Buckman refers to that as scalability. So these are things you want to think about. I also want to talk to you about specifically as an unfranchised owner, we use Market America products. Is that correct? Yes, okay. Because if we don't use it, it's very hard to say, you should try this, it's really good. Do you use it? No, but it might help you. That's not a good way to represent a product that you want. We consistently retail sell every day. If you look at your accountability in your back office under reports, 
we want you to make one call a day to introduce a product to somebody or to at least talk about a product. That's a measurable thing to help you get to that 500 or more dollars, okay? One call a day. Our goal is to reach and maintain 10 or more repeat customers. This is very special. I've been an unfranchised owner for 28 years and I have over 3,000 registered customers, all right? I'm gonna say that again. I'm in business 28 years and I have over 3,000 registered customers. And these are the things I want you to remember. I never start, stop because it's my pool of recruiting. It's qualifying and nothing's easier than to qualify somebody who loves buying your products at retail. Does that make sense? Hear me now because I'm telling you how to be doing this correctly, all right. So we know the target. So let's talk about base 10. I said this to a team earlier. I said it last night at the UBP. You get a getting started guide. That is what you're focusing on for the first six to 12 months of doing this business. You must pay attention. Base 10 is for a reason. It's to provide you the cash flow. Why do people drive Uber and Lyft? Because it's immediate money. Why don't we choose the right products that have a 20 or $25 profit like a Pentaxel or a TLS Core? If you're selecting the right thing, the Daily Essentials, $22. Why aren't we picking products that are right for your business, business-wise? Does everybody get that? During this period, as a sponsor, you have a responsibility to help define what product areas that your new partner might have an interest in. Tomorrow I'll be talking a little bit about the university majors. We have 12 different areas that we can build our business through and 12 different areas where we can expand customer share or share of customer with our Market America brands not even going to shop.com yet. Does everybody understand that? Now I say this for a reason. We are not paying attention. You have to start paying attention if you want to earn the $1,500 a week, if you want to earn the $5,000 a month, if you want to be a national supervising coordinator and be higher than $10,000 in income and commissions per every month. So start thinking about this and you should be using the product and selling the product for a minimum or greater than 500 BV. If you are not using this tool when you do an evaluation, shame on you. This tool is the perfect tool to allow your person you're evaluating to identify what products they are already currently using. Don't talk, just have them fill it and pull it away. You'll use it at a later time. Does everybody understand that? You need to order a packet of these and make it happen. What's the benefit of retailing? Retailing, quite frankly, cash flow replaces startup costs. What's one of the hardest questions? How much are you earning? Okay, well, let me tell you how to answer that if you're a retailer. And so I'm, I'm glad you asked because already since I've started, I've recaptured my startup capital and I have an ongoing retail base, and now I'm moving to expand distribution to reach my financial goals. But what's more important, what amount of income on a monthly basis would make a difference in your life on top of what you currently earn? So don't avoid the question. If you're retailing, you've got cash flow. If you're not retailing, you're paying money out. Does everybody understand that? The new layered opportunity, what a great way. Layered and, and, and motives go together like peanut butter and jelly. Okay, we'll say that right now. Uh, layered and skincare, layered and wellness, layered and holidays. I mean, so all of these things. We also want to understand what lifetime value is. Everybody know that when you have a customer, you have a chance to build that share of customer to a lifetime value, meaning all current purchases, all future purchases, all referrals that they give you, all the information that they give you on what they want to purchase, and all of their referrals, future purchases. Not to mention a future partner, potentially. Lifetime value is key to one-to-one -one marketing. 
So why do people buy? Real simple. They want to move away from pain. Hey, my parents both died of cancer. I am taking curcumin, I am taking resveratrol, I'm taking everything possible to, to make sure that my body continually produces apoptosis, meaning my cells are always constantly growing and dying. That's what we're supposed to be doing. When you have cancer, they just start growing and growing and growing. So do I have to take it? No, but it'll probably be a good indicator, I might as well watch. So I want to be fear for a, a pain right there. Move closer to a pleasure. Who wants to sleep better? You know anybody? How about a good night's sleep? Is that pleasurable when you wake up? <laughs> Absolutely, all day long. Ease of purchase, be available. That's why while we're online, I also believe you have to have the products you love and sell in hand. Ease of purchase, be ready to make the exchange and then put them on auto ship or bring them to shop.com so they can buy future products and easy to implement internet marketing. Also, they want to prevent what they fear, they want to buy conveniently, they want to buy products that are hard to find. Let me make this very clear. The collagen product, I'm going to tell you, that is going to be very big. We have our first products coming in. We're giving you an opportunity to pre-order. Let me tell you how you do it. You go under ordering, and when the things come down, it'll go Market America pre-orders. You click on that, like I just ordered 10 of them, okay? Why? Because I know we're gonna sell out of the first order. Remember Trim T? We didn't get it? Well, you're here. Make the pre-order. Does everybody get that? It, you talk about collagen with women and what it does, you talk about it now with men with what it does. And you've got a huge market and wait till you taste it. Did anybody taste it here? Pretty good, Tommy, right? All right, so all of this. And then finally, price, price. Really, price. You get what you pay for, period. All right, now you wanna become a master retailer. It begins with your mindset, remember, you got to have a mindset that you have conditioned yourself to retail product. You're committing to a product or product, be a product of the product. Then know the story. Every product, you heard Lauren up here talking about the jewelry. You heard Lauren talking about, hey, I'm going to tell you what, if I could have pre-ordered Talia's Viva palette, I would have got a boxcar full and I would have gone into every Latino community saying, I don't speak Spanish, but do you know this girl? <laughs> right? So the whole point is, look at these colors. Does everybody understand this? You don't want to stop what we're doing. Know your tools, where are they? Your value propositions, meaning your cost, your gross retail, your net retail, understand business volumes and percentages. You gotta do this, folks. If you really wanna make it, you gotta know what the hell you're doing in the business. Master retailing, the approach. Also, probing questions. Here's an easy way to get two in one. Hi, my name's Dennis. I was wondering if you can help me. I'm looking for. Now, I, if I'm on a golf course, I'm looking for golfers who, after they play, get that joint stiffness that's really hard to get rid of. I've got a couple recommendations. Or, hi, my name is Dennis, if I'm at the gym. Hey, do you know I'm looking for people that are looking for improved performance? I've got this new isotonic capable astaxanthin. It's never been put on the market before, okay? All of these things you want to be able to do, okay? So again, give solutions, then you basically validate the solutions. When Mark was talking about the products up here, he showed lots of different research items. Understand, we're not going to understand the science. Some of you will, but what you can understand is the abstract at the top of the research paper. Things that you push on, pull up the documents, highlight the abstracts, and you have the validation. Because as much as we want people to believe us, they don't. They have been lied to their entire life, okay? So you have to have something to validate your excitement. And then finally, how to ask for the money or negotiate the deal. Now, there's six different retailing types of systems here. I, I just put them out here. You can choose. You get good at all of them. One, 
listen, share, and recommend, including social media exposure. This is all relationship marketing. Get into a conversation and listen. Uh, listen. You get opportunities all the time. JR loves the what's that? Walk into the house, what's that? Then you go into what? The story of the product. Then you have the direct and passionate. I don't know if you're interested, but I got to tell you about what I did. I just lost 36 pounds on this new lifestyle program. Do you know anybody that I can tell about what I did? Okay, so that's the approach where you just can't help yourself. Then you've got other ones, impact selling, where you investigate and then you meet and probe, you apply your own personal testimony and then you convince by validating, then you negotiate the deal, tie up. How about APN marketing? You all have missed the boat, and I have for about five years until now. I understand, thanks to Brandy Murphy, how this works. So underneath your account in my services, you go down the menu items and you'll see APN, which stands for Affiliate Publishing Network. What that does is allow to you to go any business owner to put a favorite product of theirs or yours on their website you get an API, an interface, so that you can put your website picture of the product that they will allow to put on their website that you can sell through them and you negotiate their share and your share of the retail profit. And if you have a business and you wanna put special products on your website, this is where you go. APN is worth learning about. And that is powerful because that's something that works for you 24 seven. Then your trial size marketing, which I've fallen in love with. I don't go anywhere, any, anytime, anywhere, on a plane, anything. I have my little packet. I found the best baggies at the dollar store. I can fit three packets in here, my brochure, and my card. It's absolutely perfect. It fits in my pocket. Anytime I make friends, I can start talking about my products. Trial size Marcy, really working on what they call reciprocity. Yeah, if you never, first of all, it's hard to say reciprocity, but here's what the human behavior is. You give them something and they somewhat feel obligated to give you something back. So the trial size marketing brings it to you an opportunity to leverage reciprocity. So let's talk about a couple selling points. Let's talk about the new isotonics astaxanthin. I love Dr. Karen up here, but I can't do that. I'm not a biochemist, I'm not all this, and I'm not a Dr. D, but what I do know is I've got something that's good tasting, I know the market is huge, okay? I know that people with cardiovascular issues, issues are out there, age-related vision decline, and also individuals for powerful antioxidant defense, okay? So, if you know the market, there are some general things. You should know what a free radical is and why free radicals are harmful over time. If you know heart disease, you should know some stats on that. You should also know a little bit on vision and the challenges that people have with vision. Now, you should have a general simple benefits page. That's all it is. And you have to have this information. It's available, it is on your website, but you have to take it out and put it somewhere so you can refer to it. So all of these different benefits here represent markets. But to me, this is my most important page. This is what I call my value proposition. I always look at unfranchised costs and suggested retail. As a $10.95 or 30%, it's not that great, but it's not bad, okay? By the time you take out some of your other costs, you're running about $8 a profit at that point but the BV value is over 70% and it's fabulous. And it's a repeat product sale. Does everybody understand that? And it opens up to build upon the actual sale of a single product into additional stronger products. We have ORAC values, the Asteril. Did everybody get that? Our astaxanthin is from an algae base, okay? That is in a controlled environment. So what does that tell me? Consistency. That's very important. How about pure collagen? I'm telling you, love it, love it dearly. Global market, 7.8 billion, Mark said this morning. Folks, we're ahead of the curve, okay? So what would you do if you wanna 
kill this product, get it out there. You want to learn a little bit about it. Spend some time. You can't expect us to spoon feed you with everything. You're entrepreneurs, and you've got to go out and do some of your due diligence. Growing demand is there. Collagen production is decreasing after the age of 30. So where's our market start? At 30. Very good for those of you that answered the question. Okay, now, once again, you've got the benefits, which is great. People want elasticity in their skin. Who likes sagging skin? Thank you very much. All right. Who wants bad joints? I will tell you right now, when it says it works on ligaments and cartilage, are you kidding me? Who doesn't want more of that in their body? Okay, so that's powerful. Again, I love the cost price at $39.95. The comparisons are there. You have a 40% return on cost of goods. Does everybody see that? There was a 30% and there's a 40%. Now here, look at this, 80% BV. Like it, the other one was 71%. What's it tell you? You can squeeze nine more percent out of every sale. Now there's different volumes here, but I'm telling you to look at this as a business. Please look at it as a business. It's fun, but understand what you're looking for. Does everybody understand when we're talking about college, collagen and peptides, Okay, protein enzymes are made from amino acids. Amino acids basically are built from peptides, okay? And so they're the things that go together to make the different things, as Dee was talking with the rope, that basically applies to the areas in your body where you need the help. When you start talking about hydrolyzed collagen peptides, that's powerful, so I would probably understand what that is just in case you have to validate it. Not to sell it, but that's good. Now, trial size marketing. Let me just say this to you. You guys are awesome. Phil Guido spent a beautiful segment at International Convention, and some of you took the hint, but others, man, it takes a good three or four months to get you going. So I wanna bring out to stage, if I can have four of my wonderful examples uh, if you come on the stage with me. And I'm gonna have them each take a couple minutes and tell them about their experience because they, like many of you, did not start right from the get-go in doing trial size marketing, but I want you to talk a little bit. Now, come right across the line here. Okay, stop, stop. Here, we're doing some logistics. You're next. All right, Dr. Steve, okay, Angel. Okay, this is Dorothy. So Dorothy, tell us your experience on trial size marketing. Well, I really appreciated the opportunity to do trial size marketing with Vicki Lee. It was, it gave me the opportunity to um, change my business skills and um, reconnect to my personal goals. And it was very encouraging. It um, enabled me to have a new audience and connect to a new audience. I was the person who was very shy. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know when to go. I didn't know what to say. Even though I had a lot of passion and a lot of knowledge. So the only thing I had to do was hand out three packages a day. And I would hand it out to people who were interested in, in vitamins, who liked and appreciated vitamins or who thought maybe they might need vitamins. Great, I can handle that. So then it was just a matter of giving them education and meeting, at the, meeting them at their point of need. So my development was I became a, a friend-making machine. I learned how to communicate better. I learned how to expand my client base by bringing this product to many areas, my Nutrimetric space, all my majors, um, to networking events, to gatherings, um, neighbors, even to, I know we talk about um, when you're on a plane, maybe talking to the person next to you, but I didn't. I talked to the attendants in front. So it allows you to be very creative. I became a better communicator. I developed a better client base. I developed product base within my existing client base. And finally, I increased my retail sales. And Ooh. success, success. <laughs> Thanks, Dorothy, wonderful. 
Great. Yeah. The trial size marketing program helped me in many ways. It gave me the push to get off my tush and move product in my business. <laughs> I didn't realize how many missed opportunities I was walking by every day. So I started giving out more samples, using my preferred customers and people that had maybe never seen the daily essential packages. So I would drop off two packages at four preferred customers' houses, and it would translate into, you know, each, each couple would order a box each. So each week I was seeing so much more BV in my system from preferred customers that were already logged in. Then I started taking it another step and expanding to my kids, using my kids' friends, the nurse at the school. And it just allowed so many opportunities that I didn't realize that were walking by. Then I was able to use this tool with my other um, partners in the business that weren't using the daily essentials or any, the turn down, the turn up, any three small packages just to show people the power of the product. So I'm really excited about the new products and using those to show people the benefits. And I'm really happy that Vicki Lee pushed me to do this program because I didn't notice how many products I was just not selling every week. So uh, I saw a big difference in my paycheck every week too. So I was really uh, happy to be a part of this program. Thank you. Thanks, Bree. That's awesome. Dr. Steve. I really love the uh, simplicity and the quick turnaround time, the quick follow-up cycle um, for the trial size marketing. Um, so you know, you you ask somebody for some help, they get some free product, and within a few days, you might have a new customer who really is a product of the product and who really um, is excited and wants to share the product, or maybe um, you get someone who doesn't get it and maybe they like their Centrum more and they're happy with their Centrum and they're not a good fit for your company. Um, so I gave out a pack, uh, a trial size pack to a physical therapist who's also a vegan and she felt this uh, isotonic advantage really quickly. Um, she loved that we had the vegetarian and the gluten-free um, lists of products. She ordered 158 BV worth of products and then she asked for three additional sample packs to give out to some of her clients. So she doesn't even know that she's doing a trial run. Um, and so <laughs> another... Right on. <laughs> I also have a um, Nutrimetrics practice partner that had, uh, whose sales had kind of stagnated a little bit after a couple of uh, staff members uh, left the office. And so they were basically, the only product they were moving was the OPC3 Chews because that's what the current um, business manager and front desk person kind of liked and was talking about. So I want to switch that up with the daily essentials and so it actually worked fantastically. Um, uh, when I went in for the follow-up, um, the, uh, the, so the, uh, the staff got a lot of, I, I got a great feedback from them. Uh, they all felt a little bit more energetic and when they, uh, when I came, went for the follow-up, um, the business manager recommended it to, uh, the daily essentials to two um, med reps who happened to be there in the office that day. Um, so we got, uh, the staff ordered four boxes, they uh, wanted an additional box to, so that they could do their own trial size marketing as well. Um, and so that's like 200 BV, but that's sure to grow very quickly. Um, so it's also great for, to have stuff around on a daily basis, um, whether it's for Uber driver, restaurant owners and stuff like that. It's really, you're really limited by however many packets you have, but that initial, the, um, the BV that comes back, the, the, the flow of BV that's generated from, is really worth in the initial investment in the, in the product that you're handing out to sample. Um, so, I don't know, uh, it's, it's really kept our team moving along mm -hmm. and doing some result producing activities. That's great, Steve, thank you very much. Now, real quick, I want you to know, I found Dorothy Prate and also Dr. Steve because Vicki Lee, who was unable to make this trip, she had an initiative for her entire team to move into trial size marketing. I asked her for some of her best people. Now, just so you know, in the last four weeks, they have moved 36 boxes of Daily Essentials. So I will say this, great job, inspiring, keep it up. Unfranchised levels are coming, keep it up. Go ahead. Yes. Hi. 
Hi, I'm Angel. I'm an adult geriatric nurse practitioner. I've been in practice for over 25 years. I think one of the things that has led to my success in my clinical practice, as well as my success in Market America, is that I live by three really essential rules. One of those is something that our president mentioned this morning, which is that health is the first wealth. Second rule is to do no harm. That's the first rule of medicine. And the third is a quote that I want to offer to you by Dr. Maya Angelou, which is that People may forget what you say, and they may forget what you do, but they will never, ever, 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 ever forget how you make them feel. I focus on making people feel better. Mm -hmm. I focus on making people change their lives. I focus on making people feel like they can take control of their lives and feel empowered. Thanks to Dr. Vi uh, uh, to Big Al up in Maryland, I came into this business, and I've never been more passionate about anything in my life. I believe in these products because I use them every single day. When I encounter people, you know, if, whether it's my patients or whether it's just someone on an airplane, as you said, I'm always ready. As Dennis said this morning, I want to have a contact card. I want them to commit from the very beginning. I'm ready to customize my health. I get them to fill this out because I want to stay in touch with them. I also want them to have Dr. Deidre Mason's wonderful newsletter that comes out. They're going to get something free if they sign up and become a customer, right? So then I want to hear what is their need? Who in the world doesn't want a better night's sleep? Who doesn't want to be more energized? Who in the world? Tell me one person in this room that doesn't want to feel more energized. I'm not in that category. I always need energy. So everywhere I go, I have these with me because I want to seize that opportunity. Once I get people on board and I know that they want to try out these products, I want to make sure that they're educated because I don't want to do any harm. That's the, the beauty of this business is that we have that clinical science to be able to educate our patients and our clients and our, our family members and people that we meet. And last but not least is I want to convert. I want to do what Dennis talks about. I want to make profit. I want to help people, but I also want to be profitable at the same time. So I give them a free discovery call after the fact because I want them to be educated, empowered, and I want to convert that into a sale. And I want them to be with me for the long haul. Thank you so much, everyone. Give them a great round of applause. You're an inspiration to all of us. You can take this back. Thank you. Watch your step. All right, so again, relatively just recently in the last two months they put this push on and i really like that so leaders team leaders you need to take the initiative to organize your groups to start putting these out you decide on the numbers you want to use don't let us tell you what to do you decide take ownership of your trial size marketing program and track it because before you know it you're going to see great results in what we're doing so again now we want to talk a little bit about how the process goes i will just say this don't make it complicated this is scripted and it's available in your back office but let's just set a goal of maybe 10 people a month okay that's just three packets to one person every three days for an entire month that gives you time to do the survey the follow-up and everything you need to do simple approach can you try something for me and give me some feedback people are very prone to accept those kinds of offers plus they're getting it for free why wouldn't they want to take something for free all right great here you go here are the packets they're going to show it. Now, I've gone to another level. If you don't use our isotonics cups, I found that I put three packets in an isotonics cup. Now, isotonics is sitting on the kitchen counter. So if you can afford to buy a sleeve of isotonics cups, put three in the cup with the information. That's going to remind them to take the product. We need all these subtle hints to keep people on track. So endorse it with your own personal testimonial. Now you have to explain how to do this. Now the fun thing is if you give the isotonics cup, you just say put the powder in and fill it up to here. And if you have a magic marker, just put it to there, <laughs> okay? So the whole point is explain it so that they don't have any questions in how they do it. And let them know, start putting in their mind. Most people feel an immediate response when they start taking this on a regular basis. Now, you can do this anywhere. I have been with you. 
I have been to dinner with most of you, and most of you always carry packets of digestive enzymes with you. And you always go out of your way to drink yellow water at the table so that the waitress says, what's that? I, I've been there. That You've been doing trout size marketing without even knowing it, okay? So you can do this anywhere and everywhere. Wait till you add that with the beautiful jewelry. I am talking about it. That's looking sharp. All right. So now when we start thinking about all of these places that we can do this in, if they agree it, now you tell them exactly what you're going to do. You're going to give them a text or a call to make sure they took it the first day. You're going to forward to them either by text, which you would probably be the best thing to do, and, or email. You're going to give them a four-minute video. And then you're going to basically do a follow-up with some very simple questions. You're telling them exactly what's going to happen, okay? Now, this is really funny. I'm sitting in front of the master over here, and I'm looking for your approval, Phil, that I'm not messing up your presentation, okay? So, oh, God, I'm so nervous. Okay. So, so anyway, so in group situations, as we go through the Parker, however you're going to go, you can always get an opportunity to say, hey, can I get a free trial, too? So you carry one, maybe two, but if you only carry one, you can come back and book what? A follow-up. Remember what we're trying to do. One call a day to introduce them to a product. Anybody, all right? One call a day. Take that active move. I'm going to give you a free registration to shop.com. So not only are you getting these packets, you're going to give them a free registration. Now, what I loved about Angel, she has a card to get that information. Did everybody notice that? That was an entrepreneurial moment on behalf of Angel because she wanted that to be able to give them that free cash back opportunity. All right, then you're basically going to follow through. You'll send your links. You'll do this. You'll follow just like the three days. It doesn't take much. And then you're going to call them on the third day. Whoa, got to call them. That phone getting heavy. Phone's getting heavy. And you're saying, well, they didn't call me back, so should I call them? Yes, you should call them. You know why? Because you told them. If you tell somebody something, do it. Number one rule for an entrepreneur, don't create negative vibes around yourself, okay? So call them. Call them excited, all right? And say, didn't you love the product? <laughs> Wasn't it great, right? So now you're putting yourself in a situation where, thanks for trying it, you're going through that cordial interaction, the volley that we look in every time we build friendship, okay? Did you drink your isotonics? They say yes. Did you watch the video? These are the questions. These are not hard. They're not biochemistry related, all right? And what did you get with the isotonic solution? You know, most people are feeling the difference. How do you feel? Okay, and you're listening to what's going on. Now, I will make this very clear. It's constantly going to change based on the person you're speaking to. Can we agree to that? You can't just be the same way for everybody. So in this, you're asking, well, what benefits did you receive? So you're asking, did you feel the difference? What benefits did you feel? Okay, you go through it. They indicate a concern. Well, they find out that it's $77 for a box of daily essentials. All right, so listen, don't panic. Don't panic when it comes in. And basically, we're not saying the fact it's $250. We're saying it's about, listen, it's about $2 a day. I love this and how Phil put this together in the sense that about $2 a day. You spend that on these types of items. Al, if that was a Corona, that would be so you, okay? But Starbucks, Red Bull, fast food, all over the cost of what you can pay to feel good, okay, to get everything you need. You heard what was said earlier. Wealth is good health, big part of it. So if you start looking at this, all of these different things. So customers feel that, yeah, it's only a couple dollars a day, but it's $77. What are they really complaining about? $77, not the couple dollars a day. Does everybody get that? Well, you have an option. You can say, I guess that depends on what price you put on your health, or would it make a difference if we can lower that cost per day? Would you be interested? And you can move to what? The kit. Now, 
you're basically putting the guilt factor on that individual at this point, okay? And so now you're talking to them, you're going to say, how important is health to you? Okay, if it's no, well, thank you for being part of the survey. We really appreciate it. Hey, can I ask you one more question? Are there any other health concerns, okay, that you have? Remember why people buy. They want to get away from pain. If somebody shares what health concerns they might have, we may have a solution that you can offer information, okay? So that's really good. Now, if they liked it, enthusiastic about it, gave you positive feedback, you have to assume they want the product. How many times have we heard JR talk about the assumptive close, assuming people want the product or the business throughout the evaluation period? That's a good thing. What else is working for us? Reciprocity. They've got something, and most people will feel like they all like they should buy something back. All right, so you're coming back and says, unbelievable, and you've only been taking it for three days. Wait till you feel the difference over the next 90 days, okay? Well, that's great. Which would you prefer, packets, or would you like to have bottles where you can mix the formula yourself? And they're basically gonna to talk to you. And this is really where you can say, well, the cost per packet is approximately 250. The cost per using the, the chemistry set, the four different products, is about $2. So again, this is something that you can offer in that process. Now, do you see how this all begins to work in a simple conversation that starts with, hey, can you do me a favor? You know, I'm working something out with my company. They wanted me to get a survey. I'd like to give you free three days of. And it could be, just as you heard angels say, it could be sleep, it could be energy, it could basically be daily essentials. We have mocha tonics you can work with. You have collagen now you can work with. Listen, there are so many digestive enzymes you can work with. All of these different things we have that are now in packets that make things easier for us. But ultimately, being one-to-one -one marketers, listen carefully, stay with me, almost done. With one-to-one -one marketing, one-to-one -one marketing is finding your best customers and then selling them additional complementary products that there is a need for. So in this slide, through trial size marketing, we have an opportunity to add on sales. Basically, if it's when, it happens based on your continued communications. Think about this. If you haven't gone to a basic five recently, the follow-up procedure for a new customer is one, three, five, seven, 14, 21. That's when you should be following up with people. And during those conversations, what are you building? A relationship. That is something you have to remember. Why is it worthy of calling on 1, 3, 5, 7, 14, and 21? Well, the first thing you gotta remember is what? Lifetime value. The second thing you wanna do on day 21, hey Mary, how you feeling? I was thinking about you. I always like to tell them a story, a testimonial, and if you don't know a testimonial, look at your reviews and find a third party review, okay? And then, by the way, I'm making my orders I see that you're coming up on your next month of daily essentials. Can I place that order for you? Okay, now again, that's what we do. Now, for me, after a person buys a second and third time, I'm all over talking about, did you know there's a business behind the product? You're probably thinking of people who would like this benefit. Or you can go right to, you're probably thinking of people that would like to try this product. Who do you know that would like to do a trial size marketing? Some of the best people that buy already daily essentials from you are the best people to recommend who you might offer a three day trial size. Does that make sense? Okay, all I'm saying is from a business standpoint, if you're not creating 500 business volume minimum per month in your business, your senior partners, as well as yourself, should be thinking in your mind, how am I going to get there? Now, I'm not asking you to take 500 BV worth of products internally. I'm asking you to sell them, 
Okay? Now, I have seen many of you come to Product Symposium that literally have an entire table filled with everything that you take. But the point is, let's share the wealth. Let's share the wealth and get it out there and create the cash flow. And of course, we talked about the retailing to recruiting, increasing the lifetime value. It just makes a lot of sense in what we do. Does that connect with you? Are you connected to what we just talked about? Great. Now, we have opportunities throughout our business to continue to drive sales. People that drive sales look for the person that actually represents the sale because that person makes the difference. Everybody remember, selling is service. Selling is also about relationships. Selling is also educating. And what I have learned over 38 years of network marketing, that an educated consumer is a long-term user. So I loved what you heard, Angel. If you are a part of the Nutrimetrics team, you can take the articles that the doctors write and send them out in your own newsletter. If not, look on the blog. Everybody listen, look on the unfranchised blog, look in Lauren's blog, look at JR's blog. You can swipe and adapt those articles and continue the education on things that you're looking for. I just want you to win. It is all about you getting the championship in what you do. We're not doing this to go through the motions. We are doing this to win. How do we win? We build a team and we lift our team so that they're earning commissions. What is important? Base 10, seven strong. Today, we talked about base 10. It's an important part of all of your businesses. Please take that home, internalize it, and be the best business you can be. Thank you very much.